ice. Wow, how old is that? Hi there, good morning. This is Sisu in the beautiful Lahal Valley. In my last video, then I chronicled my journey getting up here. Yesterday I was in the Parvati Valley, Kasol. Took a taxi from Kasol to Kulu, bus from Kulu to Manali, and then found a taxi from Manali to Sisu here, going through a tunnel through that mountain right there, 10 kilometer long tunnel. Really amazing experience getting up here into this very different part of India and of the Himalayas. Less uh, green, as you can see, very barren mountains. This is the road to Leh Ladakh. Now, as I have discussed a lot in previous videos, then I was really hoping to get to the Spiti Valley. It looks like that is not going to uh, be able to happen for various reasons. So one is that it is November 9th and getting colder fast and the weather is variable. The forecast is showing snow tomorrow in the region, but it showed snow yesterday and today, which did not happen, so it is unpredictable, but uh, that is exactly the issue, is the weather is unpredictable, and you don't want to get stuck out there. If a snowstorm comes along, then at some point they close the road. That seems kind of unlikely because the forecast after tomorrow is nice and sunny, but uh, still it is a risk. The other thing is that I didn't realize that that road is as bad as it is. Apparently you need four-wheel drive to get into the Spiti Valley, or at least it's very bumpy. It isn't a paved road. And so that is another big factor. So really the problem is that it's late in the season. I guess the uh, road is closed off to Ladakh now. And so it is just not the uh, optimum time to be trying to go somewhere that is quite remote and difficult to get to. I went to sleep last night not knowing what was going to happen today kind of considering all the options and then got more information about what is possible and things are kind of falling through for a few reasons one of which is that it is a uh, Diwali in a couple of days and taxi drivers are busy oh okay I got a phone call coming in I gotta grab this so that was really relevant to what I was just about to say, which is that I was having a hard time getting a taxi to do something. When the uh, taxi driver dropped me off yesterday, I got his number and he was willing to come out here and uh, pick me up. Now, what I decided I wanted to do as an alternate to going to the Spiti Valley is to go further 
this way, north. Just drive an hour, hour and a half. There are various towns along the way. And see more of this beautiful valley on this beautiful sunny day. It is actually really warming up. I was freezing my butt off just 30 minutes ago in my room and finally had to get out of my room in order to warm up. I knew that I would warm up as soon as I got out into the sunshine and started walking. So it is ultimate weather. Look at uh, these incredible mountains. But uh, I messaged the uh, taxi driver from yesterday and he's very busy because of the Diwali festival holiday coming up. He couldn't pick me up until 4. And so picking me up at 4, it is currently like 11.30, then that was going to be too late to go do something more. That was him just calling, Deepak, and he said a friend of his is going to come out here and pick me up in one hour. So that will be at like, you know, 12.30 or so. And that is arranged. So what I'm going to try to do is see if that guy will take me on a little day tour and take me somewhere. I mean, even if we just go 30 minutes, you know, get closer to those mountains there, whatever, then uh, at least we can see a little bit more. And then I have a room reserved back in Manali for the next uh, several nights, actually in Vashisht, the village that I stayed at before outside of Manali. So one way or another, then I will get back to Manali Vashisht tonight and hang there for the next uh, few days. Jispa, that is one of the places that I saw on the map that looked very interesting to get to, hour and a half drive to there. So that would be kind of the ideal if we could do that, see the views along the way, and then turn around, head back to Manali. All right. It is happening. Getting a ride further up the valley. Oh yeah. Your name? My name is Rahul. 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 Gabriel. Okay. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Will we go there extra charge? Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Ministry? Yeah, it's possible. How far driving? Uh, I'm confirm this petrol pump. Okay. How much kilometer? Yeah, we we'll see. This, this, this Kelong area, Tandi. I see, okay. All Kelong. Yeah. So we might be able to go to a monastery. He's asking this uh, guy at this gas station. It's up the road there. He doesn't know like how far it is or how hard the uh, drive is, how bad the road is or whatever. That would be great if we could see a Buddhist monastery. Swastika, Shiva, Shiva Trident, 
incredible Himachal, it says. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Tube chilung, tube chilling. Prayer wheel. Stupa. Tub Chilling Gompa. This monastery known as Tub Chilling Gompa was originally known as Gandala and was situated above near the peak which is known as Drilburi Ganta Parvat. Gandala has yielded an archaeological evidence, a relic of Indian Buddhism, a copper lota vase dating 200 CE, so that would be 200 AD. Tub Chilling was earlier a residence of the Lamas of Gandala Monastery. The main statue is of Shadag, which was brought down from Gandala. The Lama priests come from Barden Monastery. Zanskar, that is in Ladakh. It adheres to Lo Dug Set. 2nd October 2016. But, uh, nobody here. Locked door. Awesome, at least we got to see the monastery. In uh, Himachal. And more buildings out there. So there was a sign at the bottom of the road that seemed to indicate a bunch of gompas up this same road. Maybe we can get up there. Is yet to come Too many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand
and then we can just go look around. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Feeling the elevation. This is the temple, or maybe around. Yeah, locked. Ice. Okay, let's see where this path goes. So I guess that is Keelong out there. That might be where we will turn around. Or maybe go farther. Okay, what about this? Yes, all right, yeah, yeah. this was the right choice. We have a stupa here. An old one. So as I understand it, there are 13 levels to the stupa representing the 13 different phases sort of on the path to enlightenment something like that so not sure exactly what's considered a level one two three five six seven eight nine ten eleven so not sure exactly what is considered one of these sections especially up there but uh, anyways it is a symbol of the path to enlightenment in Buddhism now I'm not sure if all the Buddhists around here are necessarily Tibetan Buddhists I guess they probably would be Man, this is freaking ultimate. Oh man, it is really tempting to try to stay longer out here. I'm kind of already locked in, in a way. I have uh, a hotel reserved tonight. It's not a big deal, it's like super cheap and fascist. And he is going to, of course, want to get back to Manali tonight. And then finding other taxi drivers out here can be difficult. So I'm not quite sure that I'm ready to just say bye to this guy and jump off. And then also with the uh, weather forecast showing snow tomorrow. So I think it all around makes sense to just accept this is my epic day in the Lahal Valley which looks like I imagined Speedy Valley so I think I am kind of getting the Speedy Valley experience not the uh, same of course but uh, similar big mountains dry barren Snow, glaciers, look at that full-on glacier there. 
monasteries, scattered little towns, long distances on winding roads. So apparently the road from Rekong Peo, which is down further south a ways past Manali, Kulu, going towards Shimla, then uh, he said that the road from Rekong Peo to the Spichi Valley, Tabo, Kaza, is a good road. It is just from here, right after the tunnel that I drove through yesterday, and we will drive through again today going back, then there's a fork in the road, a junction where you go left to go this way towards Lei, and then right to go to Spiti. And so I guess sometime after that junction is where you get to higher up in the mountains and the roads really deteriorate. And then it turns into this guy also said, like it's worse than the road that we took to get up here. And it was pretty bad. So all considering, I think that it is probably for the best that I not get lost <laughs> attempting that adventure at this time with the very variable weather going into the winter here. Okay, coming down. <laughs> Buddha. Yeah, yeah. Any Buddha? Yeah, Buddhist. Bod, yeah. Bod. yeah. This is Istangiri. Here you can see the big perspective of one of the most epic drives in the world, Manali. That is where I will go back to now. And then all the various villages along the way, Roteng Pass, Grampu Koksar Sisu. That is where I stayed last night. Kilong, we just drove through there. Istangiri. Jispa there is a destination that I was thinking maybe we would go today, but we made the uh, stop at the Gompa there. And then this uh, is very out of scale because from Manali to Sisu is only an hour. Sisu to Jispa, hour and a half. And then from Sisu to Lei, that is like nine hours. So that is a lot further that way there. Ladakh is not very far. The border is a little ways past Jispa, maybe around Darcha. And then it is a long drive through Ladakh to get to Leh. 
Man, does that look like ultimate adventure or what? So uh, intriguing and tempting to just keep going somehow, but I guess it just isn't the time for now. But we have got an amazing taste of this part of the Himalayas of India. There you can see Atal Tunnel. So we will drive through that on the way to Manali, 76 kilometers. It will be a couple hours, basically, to get back to Manali and my hotel room in Vashisht is a very beautiful place as well. So it has definitely been worth getting up here. I hope to be back sooner rather than later. We shall see. Do the full drive. All right. Time to turn it around. So out there is Manali, where I arrived by a bus yesterday. It might be a little further down uh, the river there, but uh, anyways, Manali is out there, and this is Vashisht. The village that I stayed in for a couple of weeks back in 2014, almost a decade ago. Good to be back. This is a really cool village with a very unique feature. It has a temple with a hot spring inside the temple. So my uh, accommodation is like a 10 minute walk that way. I am cold, tired, and hungry and uh, thinking of stopping first and taking a seat, getting a hot cup of something and uh, some food. Oh my god, that is the biggest rabbit I've ever seen. <laughs> Find a comfy spot here to uh, hang out for a little bit, warm up. Hey, hey. Okay, I remember... Uh, some cool places. This might be the one that I visited a lot. Let's take a look at the center of the village here. Getting ready for Diwali, I guess. And... This is the temple. Whoop. <laughs> See, only for ladies. I think that that is because it is the uh, hot spring for women. So you go inside there and then, uh, You can take a hot soak, okay. Let's find something to eat. So I've got a ginger lemon honey here. No tea bag in it, so it's just uh, ginger lemon and honey in hot water. A classic in India, especially if you don't want caffeinated tea. Super fast Wi-Fi here. And a really cozy place. And a quick lesson in internet access. So some places will have two connections, one of which says 5G and Generally, it is faster. So before I was connected to the Rangoli Cafe, I was curious to see the difference in the speeds. So I just connected to the Rangoli Cafe 5G. These were the speeds for the other one. Now let's refresh. 
a little bit faster. Sometimes it's a lot faster. Let's see about upload. The upload speeds are quite a bit faster. Not bad for a tiny little village in the Himalayas of India.